Heart attack often occurs when the blood clot prevents blood flow in the coronary artery, the blood vessel that delivers blood to part of the heart muscle, which can damage part of the heart muscle or even cause its total destruction. In the past, heart attacks often ended in death. Today, the majority of those who have heart attacks survive, thanks to the growing awareness of the signs and symptoms of heart attacks and the improvement and development of treatments. The general lifestyle, the food we eat, the pace of physical activity we do, and the way we face stress and tensions all play an important role in heart attack recovery. A healthy lifestyle may also help prevent and prevent a first heart attack or successive heart attacks by reducing risk factors that contribute to narrowing the coronary arteries responsible for supplying blood to the heart. Common heart attack symptoms include pressure or feeling congested at the center of the chest that lasts for more than a few minutes. It's spread to the shoulder, arm, back, or even to the teeth and jaw. Chest aches for increased periods, continuous pain in the upper abdomen, narrow breath, sweating, the feeling of imminent death, fraud, or fainting, nausea and vomiting. Heart attacks in women can be different, or heart attack symptoms may be lighter than those in men. In addition to the above-mentioned heart attack symptoms, heart attack symptoms in women also include pain or heartburn in the upper part of the abdomen, wet skin, dizziness, extraordinary or unjustified fatigue. The same heart attack does not appear in all people who have a heart attack, and if the same heart attack symptoms do not appear at the same acute level in all those who have a heart attack. Too many heart attacks are not as dramatic as those on TV, and some people even have a heart attack without showing heart attack symptoms at all. A heart attack can occur at any time and anywhere at work, during play, rest time or during movement, and there are heart attacks that occur suddenly, but many who have a heart attack show warning signs hours, days or weeks before the attack. The first sign of an impending heart attack may be frequent chest pain that increases in strength and intensity when making a physical effort while abating at rest. Angina occurs as a result of a temporary and insufficient flow of blood to the heart, a condition also known as cardiac ischemic deficiency. The medical term referring to a heart attack is myocardial infarction and means the death of tissue as a result of hypoxia. And like any other muscle in the body, the heart muscle needs a constant and continuous supply of blood. Without blood, heart cells are damaged in a way that leads to pain or pressure. If the blood delivery is not renewed, heart cells may die. In this case, scar tissue can form instead of active heart tissue. Irregular or insufficient blood flow to the heart can cause disturbance in the heart system that may be deadly. Causes of heart attack are blockages in one or more arteries that provide the heart with oxygen-rich blood. These arteries are called coronary arteries, and they surround the heart like a crown. Blockage of arteries occurs as a result of thrombosis. If the clot is relatively large, it may block the bloodstream of the artery. The condition in which coronary arteries are narrowed as a result of atherosclerosis is called arterial sclerosis, and atherosclerosis is one of the main causes of heart attack. One of the causes of an uncommon heart attack is a spasm or asphyxiation of the coronary artery, which stops blood flow to part of the heart muscle, and toxins such as cocaine can cause such a fatal convulsion. Risk factors that increase clots in the coronary artery include smoking tobacco, high blood pressure. Over time, high blood pressure may cause damage to the arteries that supply blood to the heart because it accelerates atherosclerosis, high cholesterol or triglyceride in the blood. Lack of physical activity. Obesity is excessive. Very obese people have a particularly high percentage of body fat. Diabetes. Tension. Family history of heart attack. People with high levels of homocysteine, fibrinogen are more likely to develop heart disease. Heart attack complications usually relate to heart damage during a heart attack. Such damage can lead to the following problems. Arrhythmia. If the heart muscle is damaged as a result of a heart attack, Short electrical circuits can form that lead to disturbance of the heart system, and some may be too severe to lead to death. Congestive heart failure. Cardiac tissue damage may be so great that the part that remains recovered from the heart muscle 
is unable to pump blood from the heart naturally and properly. As a result, the amount of blood that reaches different tissues and organs in the body is less than normal, which can cause shortness of breath, fatigue and swelling of the ankles and feet. Heart failure may be a temporary problem that automatically recovers after the heart recovers within a few days or weeks of being traumatized by an attack, but heart failure may also be a chronic disease caused by significant and permanent damage to the heart during a heart attack. Ruptured heart muscle. Heart muscle may rupture in some parts that have been weakened by a heart attack, creating a hole in the heart and often leading to rapid death. Damage to heart valves. If one or more heart valves is damaged during myocardial infarction, the damage may be exacerbated by problems that pose a serious risk to life. Ideally, a doctor should look for risk factors that may lead to a heart attack during a routine physical examination. If a person suffers a heart attack or suspects that they have suffered a heart attack, the emergency should be reviewed and diagnosed through the following. Medical staff ask the patient to describe the symptoms he has observed. His blood pressure is measured in addition to pulse and temperature. It is attached to the heart system and immediately begins to perform the tests by which it is determined whether he already has a heart attack. Medical staff listen to the heartbeat and to the movement of air in the lungs by the doctor's hearing. Medical staff ask questions about the patient's medical history and about the history of cardiac diseases in his family. Medical tests conducted by medical staff help determine whether signs and symptoms, such as chest pain, or others indicate a heart attack or other problems. These tests include cardiogram, ECG electrocardiogram, blood tests, other tests. If in the past a person has suffered a heart attack or is currently suffering from it, doctors will take immediate steps to address the situation, and it may be necessary to carry out the following tests. Chest x-ray allows the doctor to examine the size and shape of the cardiovascular. Nuclear scanning. This test helps detect and locate problems with blood flow to the heart. Heart Echo Scheme. This scan uses sound waves to produce cardiography. Catheterization. This test shows whether the coronary arteries are narrow or clogged. Testing may be required in the first days or weeks after a heart attack. These tests examine how the cardiovascular responds when making a physical effort. When a heart attack occurs, the following steps must be taken immediately and without delay. Prompt contact for urgent medical assistance and even when suspicious of a heart attack, must be acted without hesitation or delay. Take nitroglycerin if a doctor has prescribed nitroglycerin, and glycerol trinitrate is a coronary blood vessel extender that should be administered in accordance with instructions. The use of external defibrillator, which restores the heart to its normal system by electric shock, may be a suitable and successful treatment in emergencies, even before a heart attack reaches the hospital. Every minute that passes after a heart attack, the number of tissues that do not get the necessary oxygen naturally and regularly increases, causing damage or total damage to and death. Medications used to treat heart attack include aspirin, thrombolytics, clopidogrel, other drugs to prevent thrombosis, sedatives, nitroglycerin, beta blocker receptor blockers, drugs to lower the level of cholesterol, coronary angioplasty, coronary angioplasty is a surgical procedure aimed at eliminating narrow or clogged areas in coronary arteries, whether by balloon or by stent. Other treatments, coronary artery bypass graft surgery, 